Good evening from London. The FTSE 100 has had a lukewarm start to the trading week, taking its cue from the Asia-Pacific region. Elsewhere, week two of COP26 has begun with a focus on emerging markets and climate finance. Negotiators are outlining how to assist vulnerable countries deal with global warming and compensate them for the damage already done. America has reopened its borders to fully vaccinated UK visitors. The move is considered a significant boost to the aviation sector. According to travel data firm Sirium, a total of 3,688 flights are scheduled to operate between the countries this month. This is up 21% compared with last month, but remains 50% lower than the pre-pandemic levels of November 2019. Japan's SoftBank has recorded its first quarterly net loss in 18 months, with bosses citing the recent crackdown in the Chinese tech sector as weighing down on shares. From July through to September, the bank reported a 397.7 billion yen loss, compared to a 627 billion yen profit recorded during the same period last year. Investments in the U.S. chip company Arm and ride-hailing service Uber are faring relatively well. Among other major investments, SoftBank said it lost 1.21 trillion yen in its stake in the South Korean e-commerce firm Coupang. India's digital payment startup Paytm has launched the country's biggest IPO with a target of $2.46 billion. This would surpass Coal India's $2 billion issue in 2010. The firm founded almost 10 years ago is backed by Jack Ma's Ant Group, Japan's SoftBank, and Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. According to a regulatory filing in July, the platform has over 114 million active users and the group undertook transactions worth more than $54 billion in the 2020-21 financial year. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.